here and uh, in this short video clip we're gonna test and see if this sprocket uh, works with the Suron belt all right so this is one of the belt I have lying around I'm running a chain right now though so um, that will be a different video <laughs> all right so the question is does it does the QS 168 the pulley that comes with the, the QS 168 that I bought from uh, AliExpress from uh, was it Sia Ecosys all right does it work with the Sauron belt? All right, so this is the belt for the Sauron, right? There it is. And it looks like it does. Okay. It's, it fits it perfectly. Okay, if you guys are wondering, this is a Gates GT4. All right, Gates Power Grip GT4 belt. different angles okay it seems to be the same pulley okay so should be compatible with stock uh, stock silver on belt all right and uh, primary drive okay all right welcome to another short Hayes mega QS 165 video all right so uh, I'm planning to use this in my Suron Light B, and so one thing I want to make sure is can I use the stock uh, Suron pulley or the chain sprockets? All right, no, first, all right, I can already tell you this is too this is much bigger than what's on the Suron. All right, the Suron uses uh, well the nut. Okay, the nut for the Suron it it's a 17 millimeter. All right, mine has a 19 because I put a bigger one, but. This one is a 24 millimeter. It's freaking massive, okay? Okay, so we'll see if I can take that out. I don't know if we'll be able to do it, but maybe we've, with the use of the belt, we might be able to do it if I kind of hold it like that. All right, I'll try that. Okay, let's see if I can do this. Hmm, I should probably be wearing gloves, all right, but. I'm going to get the impact gun and see if we can take that nut off without it. There we go. That's pretty easy. Uh, if I wasn't, if it, if I didn't use the belt, I would probably use a strap wrench, alright? I have one of those also. Okay, there it is. Big nut, very big. Okay. The question is, <laughs> oh, the pulley just comes right out, alright. I thought we were going to have to use a pulley puller, but it just came right out. Okay, so that was my next question. Do you have to use a pulley, uh, a puller, all right, a pulley puller to get this out? Oh, there we go. And it just it just slides right out. It's got some kind of oil. It's got some kind of grease here on the shaft, all right. So uh, also the key came out with it. I don't think this is supposed to come out with it. Yeah, the key is stuck. Okay. Well, anyway, let's go get the... Uh, Let's go get the um, stock uh, Sauron pulley. All right, and I just want to reiterate why I'm doing this is because I want to use this with a chain drive. I, I've got a chain drive currently on my bike. All right, so this is my stock Sauron pulley, and does that slide in there? Yes, yes, it does. Okay, so the um, this is bigger. <laughs> yeah, this the the shaft for the motor is a little bit bigger on this. All right, because I don't think it gets thicker at the base here, like on the uh, Sauron motor. All right, anyway. When we get the motor side by side, I will we'll compare them, right? But it looks like that fits just fine, all right? Minus the key, all right? I can actually, let's just put that freaking key in there. No, no, no. Let's not put the key in there because I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna try to test run this motor while it's outside the bike. And I don't want that key to fly out. <laughs> okay, but yeah, there it is. It does fit, all right? And you would just use this big old nut, put it back in. Oh, the question is, yeah. Oh, well, I think you would use this nut either way. Okay. I think you would torque it to the same torque that you torque it, the Sauron motor. It's got some serrated teeth here on this nut. All right, I don't know where to really get these. It's like a, it's kind of, what's the word? Uh, it's kind of reamed, they reamed it at the edge. Okay. Interesting. I wonder if they really want you to take this off. I'm not sure. Okay. But this is the, uh, I got, I guess I got a free pulley out of it. <laughs> this is the pulley for the, uh, 
Oh, it's a little different. Yeah, this is the pulley for the uh, the QS motor, and this is the pulley for the Sauron, right? It's a little bit different, as you can see. The um, This has these little um, edges or walls that are taller. They're much taller. Much, much taller. All right, but it looks like all the teeth line up for the belt. So it is the same amount of teeth. Okay. It looks like it's the same height width. All right. So I don't think you should have a problem using this with the Sauron belt. But just to give you an example, here's the Sauron belt. See how much the belt sits in there? All right. Compared to the QS pulley. It doesn't sit in there quite all the way. So I don't know. It's up to you guys if you're going to run this motor if you want to put the stock Sauron pulley or you want to use the one that came with it. All right. This one came with mine. It looks like it's fine. I don't think it'll it the chances of this jumping off of this is probably greater, right? But I don't think it should happen. All right. <laughs> it looks like it looks like there's a a fair amount of uh distance from the belt to the the walls, all right? On the side of the pulley. There it looks like there's a 1 mm gap. Okay, here's the uh Suron pulley, all right? As you can see, it's got about the same amount of distance between the wall or the edge here. Um, to the belt, right? It's got about like one millimeter on each side, okay? And I, I heard it's like it's important that that's there, you know, that little gap, okay? Um, some people use an extra wide belt that gets rid of that gap because they think it makes it stronger. I don't think it really makes a difference, honestly, <laughs> okay? Okay, just for fun, I have a 219 uh, motor sprocket for the uh, from uh, Dirty Bike Off Road for the Sauron, all right? Let's see if that fits in there. If the pull, if the Suron pulley fits, this should fit too. Okay, and it does. All right, it fits perfectly. So there you go. It's quite quite a bit smaller. <laughs> yeah. In fact, let's do that. Let's go weigh all of them. This is the 219 uh, um, sprocket. All right. The there is also a 420 sprocket that DB Off Road makes, and there that's it right there. We, that's the one we will be installing on the QS motor. All right. But, Hayes Mega was curious whether uh, how compatible the uh, the sprockets are um, between uh, the Sauron stuff and the QS stuff. Okay, and so as you can see, that's all three of them right there. All right, this one's still got the key in it. Um, this is the front. All right, and this is the back. All right, this is this is the back of this one. All right, you can see this one still has a key in it. I gotta figure out how to get that out. Okay. Okay. Uh, in my opinion, the QS1 looks like it's better made. All right. Um, because see this, uh, this looks like they just got the the base part. All right, and then they weld they welded. Okay, they like it's kind of spot welded these uh, the edges or the wall here. Okay, where this one it's already built into it. It looks like. This looks like it's a higher quality sprocket. I do also have a newer one, all right? This is from a uh, Lightbee MX, okay? This is an older one. I know they changed the style at some point, all right? But also here's the 219 chain, chain kit, all right? Much smaller, much lighter than all of those other ones. <laughs> I'll tell you. Yeah, let's, uh, let's go weigh them real quick. All right, and then maybe we can weigh the other one when I take it off. You know, Hades Omega loves to nerd out on this stuff, man. All right, so here's the stock Sauron front pulley. All right, this is a Sauron MX pulley. All right, nine ounces it is. All right, as you can see. Zoom in on that. All right, nine ounces. Did you get that? Okay, here's the QS165 pulley. Oh, with the key. Yeah, let me, yeah, let me take that key off, man. Okay, if you're wondering, there's the key. All right, that's what the key looks like. It's freaking tiny, guys. <laughs> like, let's, uh... I, I So, all it took to take this key out was I use a pry bar and a hammer. I just, I whacked it off, okay? Um, but, yeah, let's take a look at this. We'll do a comparison with the Suron motor, all right, later. But you can see how, what the key looks like. Okay. That's what it looks like. You can see it doesn't, um... 
it doesn't go all the way, guys. <laughs> it's, not all, it's not the full length of the shaft. That's kind of odd, isn't it? Maybe maybe we might want to use the Sorod one. <laughs> I'm not sure, man. But, I mean, hey, if, if that's what they, they give you, then I guess it works, all right? Okay, anyway. Um, yeah, there it is. That's the key right there, right? It's pretty small. Um, we'll compare it to the Suron one later. Okay, here's the QS165. All right, I took the, uh, uh, what is it, the key off of it, okay? The keyway, or the key. Uh, it's a little bit heavier at 11.4 ounces, all right? It's two ounces heavier than the Suron one, all right? And just for shits and giggles, this is the DB Off-Road 219 sprocket, all right? It's 2.4 pounds, holy moly, there you go. So if you want to maximize the amount of horsepower that your motor is putting out, run the 219 chain, all right? <laughs> that thing is light, man, holy moly. It's uh, four times, yeah, four, four times is light. Four times two is like, that's about eight, almost. All right, a little more than four, all right? And probably what two and eleven five. It's almost five times as, as light as this guy. Okay, I don't know if having a uh, a heavier counter sprocket or a pulley uh, is, is beneficial. All right, if it's if having it heavier or lighter, I'd imagine lighter would be better, right? Because your motor will spin more freely. All right. So that's why they say the two. That's why they say the two nineteen chain is good for racing applications. All right, that's what it's for. All right. It's very light, and it's very strong too. It's held up to a lot of abuse. This this pulley, all right, this rocket. Okay. By the way, if you're wondering how much the uh, 420 sprocket weighs, it's 3.2 ounces. Okay. Okay, guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed this uh, video of this QS 165 video. So in this short video, we um, I uh, took the the pulley off all right there's the nut for it right there all right as the the nut is a diff, much different size than the one on the Sauron all right the Sauron uses a uh, 17 millimeter all right to remove it as while this one uses a 24 millimeter all right this thing is is ginormous all right and that would go like that okay and then we found out there's the pulley and it uses it uses the same pulley all right as a Sauron one you could probably put the Sauron one on if you wanted okay and we also find out the 219 DB Off-Road 219 chain fits in there, all right? Okay, and um, and yeah, and then that's, this is the key for it, right? So he's maybe just kind of trying to get in the guts of the, uh, the QS motor, sort of, kind of, all right? At least the outside of it, all right? And this would just go on there like that. All right, and it is a, a a regular thread. All right, it's not a reverse thread, not some kind of weird, you know, direction. Well, yeah, if you think about it, I think the motor spins this way, right? So it would it would be tightening the it would be tightening the nut when it thinks. Okay, so also it uses a serra it's serrated at the bottom of the nut here. Okay, um, I think the shaft is a little different, but we'll. F uh, I will make a comparison video between the Suron motor and the QS motor when I get both of them out, okay? And hopefully that will be soon. Okay, thanks for watching. Hades make out. Hope you learned something. That's some food for thought there. <laughs>